All right, guys, episode 46. Now, for those of you who've been with me for a long time, you'll know that I've got a cobble uh, generator in here. Now, recently, due to 1.5, I decided it would be a good idea to update things. And I want to give a little bit of a shout out to uh, Sigzuma Void um, because I was able to add a little hopper here that should potentially um, stop the lava from burning any of the. Uh, cobblestone here. So basically if you sit back like this, even the cobblestone that goes into the lava here will get captured in this hopper and all of this stuff gets fed into these droppers, which I was amazed I was able to actually get um, small enough uh, to fit in this wall without being seen anywhere um, with the uh, redstone and all that. And it feeds, come on. <laughs> directly into my storage room. So now when I want cobblestone, I can uh, grab it from here and the cobblestone over here that I, it's like basically what it is is that whenever I go in here and use the cobble generator, um, I'm losing some of it in the lava normally or I'm losing it elsewhere um, and what this is going to do for me is it's just going to make it so that every trip that I take here is actually going to make my next endeavor for cobblestone a little bit easier because I'll already have some in the chest. Anyway, um, that got me thinking about doing a squid farm. Or I'm sorry, I have a squid farm, but it sucks. <laughs> and uh, it was built before 1.5 and is completely reliant on the user. So let's go take a look at it real quick. This is where I store my enchanted books. Um, and this next level sh was supposed to be where I would store my um, written books. And in fact, there might be some in here. Yep. And then this level was the squid farm. So the way this used to work is um, squids would spawn in here and um, by the way, the spawning level for squids is, uh, I think it's 46 to 62. Um, so 61 is a pretty good one. So they'll, they'll spawn and then um, they're attracted to light apparently and then they fall and then they hit that note block which uh, lets me know that there's a squid down here and it also sets off this light. And when something lands on there, it lights that light and it also lights this light up. So if I happen to be down here and I see that lights on, I'll come down and check it out and see if I can get some uh, um, ink sacks. Why do I have this on? Uh, anyway, so, um, and then of course I've also got a reed farm over here, which I'll be doing some work on too in a future episode. Um, and basically what, I've, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to automate this farm today. So it's uh, basically just like that cobble generator, it's going to shoot um, the ink sacks up into a chest near where I would have my writing station. Um, and what I plan on doing, and I've mentioned this in an earlier episode, but I hate coming down here. Uh, it's so far and what I can do theoretically, oh, in that chest, <laughs> um, what I can do is I will be able to seal this up for later use if need be and I can get rid of this stair and I can get rid of this stair I guess this technically has to stay because that's the stair that you run down on but I'll figure that out in a minute um, and I'll be able to seal this up and then I'll just put my uh, my written books that are currently right there I'll put them in here and then um, that'll make this a lot more efficient for me uh, anyway so um, I want to start by talking a little bit of a story. Hold on one second. I'm going to head to the creative server. All right. So this was the, you know, I call it the creative server, but really uh, that's not exactly what it was. But um, basically last year, year before that, I'm not sure. When I first started really getting into Minecraft, like, um, and everybody on YouTube and all that, I downloaded one of Ethos World um, worlds. And basically right off the bat, I was swimming it was his really uh like his old old base not his not the one he's currently on um his first uh world base that he was uh, up for download um and uh i was swimming away from his storage room that was all set up and automated or whatever 
Uh, and uh, I, I saw this light. Oh, there's some ink sacks. I saw this light over by um, in the water, and I went over there and swam towards it, and I fell in something like this, and there were like hundreds of squids in here. Um, now, squids have changed a little bit. Look at how many of them are dying. They're literally drowning. I'm not sure what's going on, but they are dying like crazy um, just on their own. Nope, look at that. Wow. Look how many ink sacs just shot out of that. Uh, anyway, so I set up this little thing uh, so that potentially if you needed ink sacs in order to write uh, a book for the mailroom over here that you could get some. But um, as the game has been developed and changed, this isn't necessarily as efficient as it once was. Um, but since the squids are still spawning like like a lot and they're dying very quickly, um, it's not that hard to just get them. I mean, look at this guy. Die. There you go. Um, anyway, so it's not. Th look at that. I've got 20 ink sacks already. Anyway, so it's it's not that hard to get ink sacks. But um, I'd like to automate the process so that I never have to go out and grab them and they'll just be sent straight to me. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, in creative mode. Um, on a single player world and see what we can come up with. All right guys, so this is the basic setup. Nothing fancy whatsoever. So basically uh, we've got hoppers that are all feeding into each other. Um, we've got a light source, which probably could have been moved up, no big deal. Um, our water is well within the range of the Y coordinates of between 46 and uh, 62 or whatever it is. Um, and basically when a squid spawns in here, let's spawn a couple. They will start to fall down here over time, and they will start to suffocate. So once they start suffocating, you'll know that when they are flashing red. And then they are going to drop their ink sacs. There you can see those guys are starting to suffocate. There you go. And as they drop their ink sacs, they are fed into this hopper. There you go. Easy as cake. Bye. Whatever. Um, all right, so basically, um, I don't need accidentally through the uh, squid <laughs> spawn egg. I wonder if it landed in the hopper. Yep. <laughs> um, I don't need zillions and zillions of ink sacks in the game. I don't. Nobody does. Let's face it. Nobody needs that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a system utilizing the space that we are currently using on the server and um, we're just gonna you know we're just gonna have fun with it so we're gonna make sure that we're getting some sort of uh, um, payoff like the ink sacks are actually gonna be working like you know the the contraption works and then we're just gonna let it go for the next you know 20 or 30 episodes and check on it every once in a while and see how much we've gotten um, I'm not gonna add any ink sacks to that particular chest um, unless I do it on camera and show you that I'm just collecting it and putting it there because um, I found it somewhere else randomly on my base and uh, we'll see how 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 much I get out of it because so far I've only gotten I think two squids um, that I've actually heard the note block and went and found and the other things spawning down there are zombies so it doesn't really help me in that regard um, all right let's get started all right so here you can see I've got droppers feeding into this chest that's gonna look just just fine so let's go ahead and head down right here. What is burning out right now? Hold on, I gotta figure out what's going on. It's raining, which means... Is somebody on fire getting put out? What's going on? Can't, it's not nighttime. Oh, it's him. Of course it's not nighttime. Yeah, he's getting he's catching fire and then getting put out. Oh, leave me alone. Whoop. That didn't work. My goodness. Let's try that again. Alright. Come on. Man, I forgot I built this. Alright. Oh, nope, not there. Not there either. Okay. Whoops. We're going to go in the long way. I don't want to break something. Actually, you know what? I bet 
right here is probably safe. Yep, there we go. Alright, so as you can see we've got the line of droppers here. So now I'm going to dig down to where I've got the hoppers feeding into it. And we will get this thing all set up. So I just got to keep, oh, there we go. So now what we're going to do, and I've got jump boost, so this is possible. Uh, I'm going to put this here, and then I'm going to put this here. And then we're just going to alternate. And we're going to pray to God that this ends on the one we need. And something tells me it will. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Thanks, God. Put that there. Now let's head back down there. Take the shortcut. Oh, no. No. That wasn't as short as it could have been. All right. So now we've got this all set up, basically. Um, so if a squid spawns in here, this is the exact same setup I had before, although uh, I definitely think it could be improved. And this is going to be a little bit easier once I tinker with that so there's no light coming in here they're more likely to come down here they'll fall they'll die and then the hoppers will take their ink over here and let me go ahead and set this up so we've got a comparator sticking out of here we have it turned on to subtraction mode and let's just go ahead and take care of this real quick so we've got the comparator turned on to subtraction mode take the redstone repeater stick it right here and put this looped around oh, back into it and then one going this way and that is all you need so now I'm gonna throw this ender pearl no let's throw the bucket of water and that should send it all the way up uh, theoretically into the chest you know what? actually in order to get it all the way up into the chest I might have to throw two things so um, Let's throw these ink sacks in as well. These three ink sacks. Let's see what happens. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. What have I got? Nothing. No ink sacks, no bucket of water. What happened? Nothing here. How did I break this? Nothing here. Nothing. Nothing. Interesting. I got one ink sack there. Nothing ink sack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's working. You just need to feed more items through. Okay, that makes perfect sense. So let me go ahead and um, put that back together. Uh, I knew that was the case, I just forgot. Um, the, uh, the system I've got for the um, cobblestone, since so much cobblestone is going through there, it just always is cl cluttered with cobblestone. Like, that's kind of the point. Um, so that in order to get the cobbles, like if you get something clogged in there, the only way to get it out is to, is to flood more items through. There you go. All right, so that's all set up. Now let's take these, oh, you know what? There's ink sacks in here. Yeah, let's take these ink sacks. So now we're gonna jump 32 plus three is 35. All right, let's do this right this time. There we go. So we're gonna toss all 35, or all 32, which is gonna total 35 in here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this open like this for now, like, uh, perfect. Um, I'm going to leave this open because in the next episode, um, I am going to probably be working on integrating the cow and chicken farms in here, assuming that there's a way to, um, without making this all ugly. Uh, I think it shouldn't be too hard, um, so I'm looking forward to it. Basically what I'll do is, uh, for the reed farm, I'll just have the reeds collect and then filter right here. 
So basically, uh, this is going to be the easiest part. Um, getting the reads is going to be, I mean, setting up the, the system with the daylight sensor. I'm going to try to make the daylight sensor go in such a way where it will act like uh, a button. And it's only going to happen every other day um, to hopefully get more reads that way. Um, but basically, I'm going to just go into the wall and hide it like this. Um, and I'll just have the stuff shoot down into it. Um, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Sound like generic B a little bit. Not, not at all really, but you know, kind of. Um, all right, so we're gonna put a stone in here. And there we go. So that's it for now. Um, you gonna fall? Nope. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. That's why I didn't do that before. All right. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. Um, all right. So that's basically it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'm going to hop in and record it right right away. So um, all right. Take it easy.